And a very pleasant good evening, everybody, and welcome to WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97's coverage of Red Bay Tiger basketball. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Welcome into our broadcast tonight of the Red Bay Tiger and New Sight game. If you're out there joining us on our broadcast, we're going to be going courtside in just a minute to talk with the coaches before the ball game. And we'll even go in there with the officials and hear what they got to say to the coaches and captains for the game tonight. Once again, if you'll do me a favor, call your friends and family and tell them to turn it to 1430 WRMG, also TV 12 and TV 97 and WRMGradio.com and they can listen to the game live tonight. Today's game brought to you by the folks at Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Allison Barksdale by H.W. Watson Logging Company, who buy your timber and your timberland, by John Cook at Alpha Insurance, by Silver Dollar Grocery, Rick Sparks down in Golden, by Fourth Street Grill and Steakhouse. Don't forget for all your catering needs, see Lori and Brent Collum at Fourth Street. Give them a call, 256 356 20 226. Also, Chuck and Barbara and all the staff at Cash and Thermoplastics on a broadcast tonight. That great tasting Carl Lewis sausage by the Medical Clinic of Red Bay, Dr. Fabianchi. Shannon Oliver, your Franklin County Sheriff by Piggly Wiggly. Bill and Donna Weatherford, Pam Moore at Belmont Pharmacy. The Cardinal Drive-In on the Golden Road, 356 2358. By the Red Bay Gas and Water Department. Call before you dig at 356 8622. Once again, it's the Red Bay Tigers taking on the new site, Lady Royal, should be a good one here tonight. Brought to you by Consider the Lilies, Angie and Ted, for all your floral and gift needs. Uh, go by and see them on the main drag in Red Bay 356-8313. By Franklin Electric. By B.J. Elrod Walters at B.J.'s Hair Sestities on 23. By Bart Moss, who wants to be your next superintendent of education. Go to bartmoss2016.com for more details. Also, H&R Block of Red Bay, Iuka Fulton by Tiffin Motorhome, Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry, Dr. Jim Neighbors, this staff of the Neighbors Clinic with Carolyn Wilson, by Community Spirit Bank, by the Hallmark Restaurant with Mr. Joe Hastings. Also on a broadcast tonight, uh, the game brought to you by Fastwick Car Wash, Miss Ann Vincent, the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont, the City of Red Bay, the Joe Holmes All Company, by Big Star, Harden Heating and Cooling, your official York Heating and Cooling dealer, by the Red Bay Body Shop and Record Service, by Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company, your Edward Jones agent, Mike Jones, by Dana Robinson at Dana's Double and Dance Academy, by Dixie Diesel Service. Best wishes today from Denise and Murray Marr. Also want to thank Swamp Johns by CBNS Bank, Med Express of Red Bay with Dr. Leota and Kayla Humphreys, Redmond Pharmacy, J.C. Weeks in the staff by Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic at 301 Jackson Avenue, downtown Russellville. Call Dr. Rick at 331-0208. By the station, clothing for the entire family, Belmont's newest shopping experience in downtown. Next to, of course, the four-way stop, four-way stop number two, it's the station. Also on the broadcast tonight is Mr. J's Sunshine Mills, Mike Schubert, your hometown school board member, and by Grace Long Real Estate. We'll tell you more in just a minute. We're going to be going courtside to talk uh, with all the coaches before the ball game tonight. Once again, I'm Jack Ivey with Randall Lindsay. This is Red Bay Tiger basketball on the Ivey Broadcasting Company. Appreciate uh, Denisa back at Control Center for getting us on the air and keeping us on the broadcast here tonight. We're about six and a half minutes. Uh, so we'll be uh, checking in with her a little bit later to see our broadcast, but right now we're heading down courtside. Red Bay B team losing big to New Site tonight. We're heading over to grab a quick word with Coach Byron Sparks and also Coach Donnie Roberts. I see Mr. Sparks right now looking. He knows Jack Ivey is probably sneaking up on him now. Coach, how you doing? Good, good. Another big game, uh, of course, at Belmont and New South the other night. You got a big victory over there. And, of course, a big test here in Alabama against the Red Bay Tigers. We do. Good win on Tuesday night, but we got to get past that one and, and worry about Red Bay tonight. 
Well, you know, we call him the legend around here. He's been doing it for many years, got close to 850 wins, and uh, uh, you don't have to uh, look far from folks that don't know the coaching ability of Coach Johnny Roberts. I have a lot of, co a lot of respect for Coach Roberts. He does a great job and always love coming over here and playing his teams because they always give us a challenge. And, of course, he's going to make the hospitality right. Uh, he, he's, uh, uh, he's just an awesome guy, and I brag on him because uh, I've enjoyed working with him for the last few years. And, of course, you in the coaching field uh, know how to respect people like Coach Roberts. I mean, he, to win 850 ball games, how much longer would you have to coach? I don't know. A long time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess the, the reason I'm bragging on him is because, you know, uh, there's not anybody else out there got that many wins. That shows you how hard a lot of folks are not even close. But, uh, Coach, for the folks listening and watching in Red Bay, tell them a little bit about your ball club. Well, we're scrappy. We like to get out, and we got to defend, too, to have a lot of success. So we try to get out and run up and down the floor, and we shoot a lot of threes. We don't have much post presence, but uh, we like to shoot the long ball. We're pretty good when they're falling. When they're not, you know, we'll struggle. So we're hoping they'll fall tonight. Coach, going to wish you good luck. I know the old official is going to be wanting the captains. I'm going to go around and grab Coach Roberts, but good luck, and we appreciate you, okay? Thank you. Coach Byron Sparks joining us here. We're going to get a quick word with Coach Johnny Roberts, and we'll be ready to get this game underway. Coach, we're sporting off a brand-new microphone I unveiled oh, the other night. looking good, Jack. And, uh, Look at that thing's even got a digital. What is that on the side of it? That's what frequency we on tonight. We, get, we can get on all kinds of frequencies. Tell you what, you're going to have to be on the right frequency to get a win against this ball club tonight. I tell you coach. what, uh, we got, we're going to have our hands full, and I, I just hope that uh, I, I've done a good job preparing. Uh, I've, I've thought of everything that we need to do, and uh, hopefully uh, we can put it together tonight. Coach Byron Sparks and I have been uh, sending praises your way down there. Of course, he respects the, not only your coaching ability, but what you've been able to do as a coach. And, uh, of course, Byron's done a wonderful job over at Newside as well, hasn't he? Yes, he has. I mean, uh, one uh, – winning state championships and I mean his teams are always competitive and uh, you know he's a competitor and uh, you know the thing I told the girls today I said you know we just uh, we better be ready to play four quarters tonight because uh, the, those girls New South girls really play hard. Coach how do you match up with this ball club they they're well, you know, they're they they gonna cause us problems because we're you know we're so much bigger than they are uh, you know, it's uh, it, it's it's gonna it's gonna cause us some problems to a certain extent, and uh, I I just try to, to match up the best I can, and you know I may have to substitute guards or post players according to how he substitutes. You right. know what I'm saying? Coach, uh, you know they like to get after you full court. If, mm -hmm. if a team has problems uh, getting the ball down the court, good ball handling, you could be in trouble, right? Yeah, I mean that uh, that uh, if we do that, uh, we'll get beat. And uh, of course, you know I've I've tried to prepare the girls uh, just for that, and. Uh, you know, I, I, I feel like I've got him a, a real good press breaker. It, it don't matter if he does zone man to man or whatever. Of course, you know, the thing about them is they, they don't quit press. I mean, it, even on a missed shot, they're going to pick you up about three quarter in a press. So it's just, it's going to be that constant all night. And you know, and it, most of it's zone. So the key to that is not trying to dribble through it, it's passing. So we'll just- uh, You start dribbling in it, uh, turnover city and uh you don't want that to happen, I know. We've, uh, we've worked on it. I just hope they execute it tonight. Coach, good luck. Appreciate right, it. Thank you. Coach Johnny Roberts joining us here on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. We're going to go in the huddle and hear the officials talking to the captains here tonight. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Stay tuned. Red Bay Tiger basketball coming up. All right. Who's going to be the spokesman? Got number 20 and number 32. All right. Good sportsmanship, ladies. Y'all take control of your team here. Whistle. Stop on the whistle. We'll sort it out, okay? Coaches, both teams legally and properly equipped. Okay, if you would, give us a full or a 30-second timeout. First horn, get them ready. We're going to play on two. Any questions? Let's have a great game. The officials talking before the game here tonight. Jack Ivey live, and we're going to go to ease down and get a quick word with the world-famous Katie Burks. Katie, I don't know about uh, you, but I'm ready for 34 to be back out on the floor. I understand you're going to try to make that happen. Is that still a possibility? Yes, sir. I'm hoping to come back in January. I'm still going to finish up the rest of my physical therapy, and then hopefully I'll be back. I got bracing a couple days ago. I'm still getting used to that. I'm excited. I'm ready to come back. Of course, you uh, tore an ACL and had a meniscus tear as well, so uh, tough situation there, but uh, we know you're going to bring a spark back uh, and try to encourage this team in the meantime to you and get back on the floor, right? 
Yes, sir. Appreciate you, and we appreciate the great job you do, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Katie Burks joining us here live on WRMG. We're going to work our way back up. I'm Jack Ivey. Randall Lindsay is ready to see those new site Royals names be called out. Get ready. The starting lineups is coming up next on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We'll turn it over to our public address announcer at this time, and here's Brother Mitch Nethery. Starting lineups, Red Bay Tigers and the New Site Royals. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97 with the Ivy Broadcasting Company. I'm not sure if we're going to have a national anthem tonight or not. I, apparently not. New Site in the red, the Red Bay Tigers in white tonight. New Site will be starting tonight. Uh, number three, Camille Cavness. They'll also start number two, Sydney Presley, and number 32 will be Amy McElroy. Doing good, good to see you. I will, I won't charge you extra. Number 11, of course, is Jordan Clark. Coach Michael Jackson said I need to interview him sometime at halftime. We might just do that. Tip control by Newsite. Newsite taking that ball down low. The pass is wide, almost out of bounds, and Newsite will set it up. They'll go to the top of the key, driving toward the basket. Tigers, Oak Cook reaches in and strips it away. And the Red Bay Tigers have got the basketball. A little 1 2 2 press. And Red Bay will have the basketball. Kennedy over to Morgan. High post to Jordan. Oak Cook open for the three, will not take that three. She'll kick it back out, and the ball stolen away, but out of bounds. Corey Chowell is also one of the starters for New Site. Of course, it'll be Darby Madden, Hope Cook, Allie Kennedy, Holly Harden, and Morgan Pierce for the Red Bay Tigers. Tigers will have the basketball to start. Today's game, of course, live on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97, the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Jack Ivy and Randall Lindsay with you here tonight. Red Bay to Harden, back to Kennedy. Kennedy down low to Cook. Tigers being patient here, goes left side to Morgan. Morgan will not take that shot. She'll go back to Kennedy, top of the key. Kennedy and the Red Bay Tigers in a big battle here. Holly Harden's open for the back door, but guess what? Blocked by the New Site Royals. New Site will bring it down. They're open for the three on the right side. It's up and no good. Rebound, Red Bay Tigers. Hope Cook got it. That shot was missed there by Jordan Clark on the right wing. 6.50 to go, we're live in Red Bay, Alabama, on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. High post, Darby. Darby will come into the free throw line, put up a shot, no good. Rebound, gonna be picked up by the Red Bay Tigers. New site should have had that one, but good hustle by Darby Martin, uh, Darby Madden to pick up that ball. 
and the Tigers will get another opportunity. Pierce double team, looks for help, goes to Kennedy, now back to Darby. Darby kicks it out, Hope, Hope shoots the three right side, no good, Morgan Pierce with the rebound, she's in the paint, puts it up and no good. Rebound goes to Sydney Presley out of the New Sight Royals, and New Sight with the basketball, taking it down low, the shot up no good, and Morgan Pierce is gonna be charged with a foul for the Red Bay Tigers. Don't forget tonight's game brought to you by Baymont Wholesale. Baymont Wholesale, of course, is Mr. Mike Stockton and his staff. If you're out there joining us on a broadcast, do me a favor, call a friend and let them know to go to WRMGRadio.com. The ball stolen away by the Tigers. Kennedy's got it. Kennedy will split the defenders, and she is fouled. Still no score in the ball game. Tonight's game brought to you by the Red Bay Hospital. Mr. Glenn Jones, the administrator. Aaron Pounders over the Wellness Center. Also Buster Davis and all the staff down at Davis Ford, Northeast Mississippi's oldest Ford dealer. You'll always get the best deal at Davis Ford in Fulton. Over 50 years experience. And there's a turnover against the Tigers. Darby Madden's pass way too high for Morgan Pierce. And Newsight will have it with 5.56 to go. Appreciate Dr. Ralph Nix located behind the post office in Red Bay making the game possible tonight along with McDonald's of Red Bay. Let me give you the number for Dr. Nix, 356-8641. New site with the basketball. McElroy on the left wing brings it back. Substituting in the ball game, Hammock. Hammock shoots a three. It's up. It's no good. Rebound goes to New site. Coming out of there with it was Camille Cavness. And the New site, the Lady Rawls to the top of the key. They'll shoot a three. Good. Number two got that one, Sidney Presley. So Presley and Newsite takes a 3-0 lead. Cross court, Hope Cook. Hope dribbles around, being guarded there by Hammock. Back to Kennedy, now high post to the left side. It's Morgan Pierce. Morgan to shoot a three, it's no good. Rebound, Newsite had it. Hope Cook knocks it out, and they're going to get, I believe, Hope Cook with a foul. 5.05 to go, 3 to nothing to score. Newsite on top. New side will take that ball to the right side. Three, Kavnis. Kavnis back to the top of the key there to Sydney Presley. She already hit a three there. Now Hammock will try another three. It's up no good. She missed one from the top, misses this one with the right, but New side's got it back again. She's no good. Rebound this time goes to the Red Bay Tigers. Today's game brought to you by lots and lots of great sponsors. We'll appreciate them all. Red Bay with the ball. Morgan Pierce, double team, Harden into Madden. Madden is going to be fouled by Amy McElroy. That'll be the second team foul. Red Bay on the inbound, it's a good job. Morgan Pierce on the inbound, wide open, and the Tigers have cut it to a one point game. Kennedy guarding Presley. McElroy being guarded there by Pierce. Darby Madden is they got her on the hammock. And they got uh, Holly Harden over here on number three, Camille Cavnis. Red Bay Tigers on the defensive side, playing man to man. New site being patient, they lead three to two. Number 22 out there is Corey Childs. Down to Cavnis, Cavnis stabs her shot blocked and it's stolen away and we got a foul uh, against the Red Bay Tigers. Actually, it's going to go against New Sight, and Red Bay will have it. Presley is going to be charged with the foul. That'll be her first foul. Red Bay having a little trouble getting it in. Finally gets it in. Kennedy to Darby Madden. Darby down to Morgan Pierce. Morgan stops, waits on Kennedy. Kennedy at the circle with 3.40 to go first quarter. Got a good one going three to two. It's right now New Sight. And New Science going to be charged with a foul. 32, Amy McElroy just picked up her second foul of the ball game. They let them play when Belmont played New Science the other night over there. Let them play in uh, bang around Big Ten. And I can tell you, they're going to call it a little tighter here in Alabama. So some of the things that they let players away with, maybe say Mississippi officials, just the way they call it a little bit different. Uh, they'll probably call it a little tighter here. There's a shot free throw line. Darby Madden knocking it down for the Red Bay Tigers. That puts Red Bay on top four to two. 3.19 to go. New site, three-point shot. No good. Morgan Pierce for the rebound. 
Tigers in white, once again, new side in red. Today's game brought to you by Gary Armstrong, who does all your doze, your backhoe work, and by Johnny Cleveland, who wants to be your next superintendent in the Derby. Derby is going to be found. Johnny Cleveland's got 32 years experience for you, and he'd love to serve the people of Franklin County. Vote Johnny Cleveland in March, on March the 1st. That is uh, Presley picking up a foul. That'll be her second foul. Morgan Pierce is going to check out of the ball game. Red Bay Tigers will bring in Carly Humphreys. Morgan Pierce getting ready to go back to the scores table again. Four to three. Three minutes showing on the clock. Red Bay Tigers lead. Harden back to Kennedy. Back over to Carly Humphreys. Red Bay Tigers back to the high post. Now to the right side. Hope Cook. Hope drives in, has a shot blocked, but the Tigers steal it. And Holly Harden kicks that ball back out to Kennedy, Kennedy to the corner. Hope Cook, Cook backs up for the three. It's up, no good. Rebound coming off, and we're gonna have a jump. Chambers into the ball game at the last timeout. Macy checked in number 10. See several Cardinal fans across the way over watching the game tonight. Four to three the score, two minutes and 33 seconds to go. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay here line. Kennedy. Drives in, Kennedy pulls up, shot no good. Rebound out of bounds, and it's going to new site. Today's game brought to you by Tri-State Appliance Sales and Service. Your honors are Colin, Tracy, and Kim Wells. We are your GE Appliance Parts Store. Come by and see us today for all your refrigerator stoves and much, much more. You can't beat the GE Appliance Store. It's brand new in Belmont. New site, two opportunities. They get another hammock Well, about a 15-footer good. Chloe Hammock. Knocks down the two in new site, leads five to four. Red Bay have not had a problem with the press so far. Kennedy across the timeline to Humphreys. Chloe Hammock came back in the ball game, uh, rather uh, Morgan Pierce came back into the ball game for Holly Harden. Red Bay Tigers might have got away with a walk there. And there's going to be a whistle and a foul. Darby Madden will go to the line. Darby tried to make a little spin move there, and it was hanging on, and they're going to get number 33, Madison Farr, with a foul. Holding foul. Free throw is up and good by Darby Madden. That'll make it a 5-5 five five ball game. And the next free throw is up is good. Darby with four points in the ball game. And here come the New Site Royals. Chambers back over to Hammond. 139 to go first quarter. Today's game brought to you by Redmont Heating and Cooling. Patrick Brooks shot up by New Site. No good. Red Bay with a rebound. Hope Cook comes out of there with it. And back to Kennedy, and Kennedy will ring it down. Kennedy down to Humphreys. Humphreys, Madden, back to Kennedy. She's in the circle at midcourt. She'll try to go around Chambers. And backs it right back out. Hope Cook with the basketball and tries to go to Madden, and we're going to have a battle for it. And it's out of bounds. And Red Bay will have the basketball. New site fans wanting a foul that time with a minute 10 to go. Here comes the Red Bay Tigers leading by one. Kennedy, Hope Cook, Hope cross-court pass. Down to Humphreys. Humphreys down the left corner, and... Carly Humphreys is going to be fouled. Looks like uh, maybe number 11. I'll double check that. If that is correct, that'll be Jordan Clark. Seven team fouls against the new site, two against the Red Bay Tigers. Humphreys will go to the line. That foul is against uh, Jordan Clark. That'll be Jordan's second foul of the game. Let me give you the number for Redmond Heating and Cooling. Patrick Brooks, 662-279-6569. Free throw by Carly Humphreys is up and good. He will have another shot coming, uh, Carly will. And this one is up, it is good. Good job for Carly. Eight to five, Red Bay leads. Appreciate once again Patrick Brooks at Redmond Heating and Cooling for making the game. Hammock shoots the long three, it's up, no good, rebound. Red Bay's got it. And with that basketball was number 14, Darby Madden. Kennedy 
Tigers get it across the timeline. A little more difficult that time, but the Tigers made good passes, didn't try to dribble through everything. And there's Darby Madden driving in for the layup. It's up no good. Rebound goes to Newsite. Number 11 got it, Jordan Clark. Chambers drives in, and she is going to be fouled by Carly Humphreys. Appreciate the Banner Tire Store, 83 Banner uh, Road, Fairview Banner Road. New News Tires, also Duck Commander Tires available for you. New site bringing in three new players into the ballgame. See number 22, I believe Corey Childs back out there. 11, uh, Jordan Clark was already out there. 32 McElroy back in. And we got a whistle and a foul against the New Site Royals away from the ball. Number 22, Corey Childs is going to be charged with a foul. That'll be the eighth team foul. New Site will check out number two, Sidney Presley. Red Bay almost turning that ball over the backcourt. Morgan finally gets it to Hope Cook to Kennedy. Kennedy across the timeline in time. Kennedy pulls up three, top of the key, off and no good. And that is the end of the first quarter. Eight to five, Red Bay leads at the end of the first quarter. Not a huge scoring game, but right now the Red Bay Tigers leading over New Site by a score of eight to five. This is WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Appreciate Mr. Albin Mason at Albin Mason Construction Company making the game. If you're looking for quality, you're looking for Albin Mason Construction Company. I promise you they're going to do you a wonderful job. And if you're out there joining us tonight, call a friend right now and let them know that they can get the game. Vanessa said earlier we were sounding great, and we hope you for uh, joining us out there. Do me a favor. If you're listening to the game right now, it's area coach 662. I'm going to get you to send me a text here at the game and let me know that you are listening to the game tonight. 662-423-7602. It doesn't matter where you're at tonight. If you're a New Site fan, Red Bay fan, uh, it doesn't matter. Just tell me where you're calling from tonight, who you are, and we'll say hello to you. And uh, if nothing else, just let us know where you're calling from. Once again, the number, it's area coach 662-423-7602. 423-7602. Appreciate Predator Pest Control, the insect predator for all your pest control needs. We take care of the termite problem. 20 years experience. And I'll give you Eddie's number in just a second. We got a whistle and a blocking foul against Hope Cook. His new site was taking that ball to the rack. Hope Cook going to be charged with a foul. That'll be Hope's second foul. Red Bay's fourth team foul going to the line. Will be uh, Jordan Clark. And the free throw is up good by Jordan, her first basket of the game. Eddie's number, Eddie Deaton, is 662-315-2841. And also want to say thanks to Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore for making the game possible tonight. Both free throws are good by Clark. Red Bay with the basketball. Morgan back to Hope. Hope over to Kennedy. Kennedy across the timeline. Kennedy on the right wing goes down and is going to be held by number three. And that's uh, Camille Cavanis is going to be charged with the foul. And that'll be her first foul. Kennedy will go to the line to shoot one and one. Once again, our number is 423-7602. If you listen to the game, tell anybody then go to WRMGRadio.com. You can get a link off my Facebook page, long three-point shot and new site. It's up and good by Chloe Hammett. Hammett getting her fifth point of the ball game. It's 10 to eight. New site has come back to take a lead. They've scored five straight points. It was eight to five, Red Bay at the end of the first quarter. With a basketball, stolen away by New site. New site to Hammock. Hammock crossed to number 22. She'll drive a reverse layup up good. Number 22 getting that one is Corey Childs. New site leads 12 to eight. Red Bay with the basketball. Allie Kennedy. Adley, high post there. And now inside the free throw line, the ball stripped away. New site touched it last, so Red Bay will have it. Don't forget the TV replay. Uh, of course, 
later tonight. If you're listening to live audio broadcast, will only be it'll be on TV 12 and also television 97 on Max South Broadband. So if you're not on cable, Max South has got the best internet, and why not just get on cable where you can watch all these uh, ball games? Max South Broadband, we can give you the number. They got uh, special packages where you can get cable, internet, and even local telephone service. 12 to 8, the score. Red Bay trailing new site. In the red, putting a lot of pressure on. They go to Holly Harden. Harden kicks it back out. Morgan's open for the three. Morgan Pierce is up and good. A much-needed basket and the fifth point of the game for the Red Bay Tigers. Morgan shot up the new site. No good. Kennedy with a rebound. And we're going to have a foul or a timeout. Timeout, Red Bay. Not a foul. 12 to 11. 12 to 11 the score. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97 with the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Appreciate you being with us here tonight. Brought to you by CJ, serving quality food at a reasonable price. And they got the BCDA and the state hunting and fishing license available for you. Along with supplies, stop by for ethanol free gas located at 187 and Highway 24. Call your orders in 256-332-1324 CJ's making the game possible. And also this game brought to you by Runny Cook of Modern Woodman of America. To plan for your financial future and learn more about member benefits, get to know your Modern Woodman representative, Runny Cook, 662-423-8477. Start your conversation today. Red Bay with the basketball after the timeout. Hope Cook, Hope on the way for a layup. It's up and no good. Darby Madden with the rebound. Darby goes up and she is fouled. Coach Byron Sparks going to substitute again. Jordan Clark getting ready to check in. I don't know whether you know it or not, but Modern Woodman's been around since 1883, so they're a very well-established company. Appreciate Ronnie and Miss Tammy Cook for making the game possible here tonight. Number 33 will check out of the game. That's uh, Madison Farr. First free throw by Darby was good. She'll have another one coming. It's good. Six points for Darby, and Red Bay is taking a one-point lead, 13 to 12, 5.51 to go. Jordan Clark, top of the key. Look at the left side, Hammock. Hammock being guarded now by Kennedy. Jordan Clark being guarded there by Morgan Pierce at the top of the key. Goes right side, and a three-point shot, no good. Red Bay with the rebound. It's Darby Madden. Darby trying to get out of there, and we're going to have a whistle and a foul. So Darby's going to walk to the other end of the floor and shoot free throws. That foul against uh, number 10 for New Sight. Macy Chambers getting her first foul. The race game brought to you by H.W. Watson Lodging Company, Kevin and Harold. They buy all your timber and timberland, 356 80 at 11. And by Silver Dollar Grocery, Mr. Rick Sparks on our broadcast. 12 14, make it 15 to 12 as Darby makes the other free throw. Appreciate Lori and Brent Collum. They are the folks at 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse. Long shot, no good. Jordan Clark out of bounds. It'll go to the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay's going to play it the length of the floor. I gave you the area code area earlier. It's 662, the number, and a steal by Newsite on the inbound. Our number, if you want to send us a text, it's a game to let us know you're listening to the game. It's 423-7602. Now they're going to get Hope Cook with a foul. That'll be Hope's third foul. Once again, the number is 423-7602. We'll check in just a second to see if we've uh, heard from folks. I know tons of folks are out there watching. Oh, Kelly Moore said we're sounding great. Need some baskets to fall for the Tigers. Kelly, they might just do that. Since you sent that text, the Tigers are up 15 to 12. Driving in the lane, we got another whistle, and this is going to be a foul against Red Bay. And we'll find out who this is against. That foul, of course, I told you Hope got her third foul. I'm thinking that might have been Carly Humphreys. They haven't put it up. I like to make sure. 
but still didn't put it up. 4.57 to go, and Newside has turned it over. So Red Bay will play it. And they get it into Darby Madden. Darby. And the Red Bay Tigers having trouble getting it over. Rick Fusite fans wanted a, a miscue on the Red Bay Tigers, and it was close. Three-point shot, Morgan. Morgan shot no good. Newsite with a rebound. Hammock comes out of there with it. Hammock across the timeline. Takes it right side, Chambers. Long three-point shot, Clark. Clark shot in and out, no good. Rebound, Holly Harden got it. Today's game brought to you by Cash and Thermal Flashes. Chuck and Miss Barber sounding good, I hope, at your house tonight. I don't know where Miss uh, Miss Cashin might be uh, here watching it live. I wouldn't bet against it. She, she goes to a ton of games. Darby Madden drives in, goes around, shot up no good, gets her own rebound, puts it up good. So thank you for all the folks that are letting us know they're watching out there tonight. 17 to 12, 3.53 to go, and Newsite is going to have an over and back. So Newsite's made a couple of mistakes, throwing it out of bounds and throwing it over ahead, and that will make it Red Bay Tiger basketball on the Tiger end in front of the Newsite bench. 17 to 12. Newsite. And now the Red Bay Tigers throw that ball away. 17 to 12, 342 to go. Appreciate Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Barksdale, along with Carl Louis and Carl Louis Sausage. And we got a whistle and a foul against the Red Bay Tigers. Allie Kennedy is going to be charged with that foul. They never did put up that other foul. I'm pretty sure it was Carly Humphreys but they never did put it up. Red Bay leads 17 to 12, and Macy Chambers will shoot a free throw here. Macy's free throw is up and good. Macy will have another one coming here. 17 to 13, and the free throw up good. 17 to 14, Red Bay. Carly Humphreys with the basketball, back to Kennedy. Kennedy, long throw to Holly Harden. Harden back to Morgan. Morgan, double team, cross court pass to Humphreys, and Carly is going for layup. It's up good. Good job by the Red Bay Tigers. Carly Humphreys on the pass from Morgan, and Red Bay leads 19 to 14, 310 to go. Appreciate Dr. Fabianchi, who takes care of your family medicine, sports medicine, geriatric as well. Watch. 19 to 14, and the shot is up good. Three-pointer by Hammock. So Hammock gets another big three. She's got eight points in the ball game. The Red Bay Tigers with the basketball. Harden. Ball tipped out. Red Bay still got it. Now Humphreys on the right wing. Kennedy, Madeline goes to the left side. Now gets it back around the horn. Kennedy get it back. Red Bay will kick that ball back out at the 222 mark. Red Bay 19 to 17. Red Bay, ooh, lost it out of bounds. Darby had a pretty good look at it. Unselfish play, tried to dish it off to Carly, and Carly uh, had that ball knocked out of her bounds. And it went off against Red Bay. Nineteen to seventeen, and a reverse layup, and we're going to have another foul against the Red Bay Tigers. Appreciate your hometown Piggly Wiggly store. I'm sure they're listening down there right now. Jason and the staff down at Red Bay. You got a location in Belmont and Iuka. Don't forget the Ace Hardware in Belmont and over in Iuka. That foul against uh, Brooklyn Bolton. And a free throw, no good, and 
New site gets it right back, 19 to 17. New site trailing by two with a minute 49 to go. Appreciate Bill and Donna Weatherford and Pam Moore at Belmont Pharmacy on our broadcast. 19-17, New site, 22 Childs. Back to Jordan Clark. Jordan, back to 22. 22 drives in, kicks it out. Now they're open for a two. It's up no good. Darby Madden with a nice rebound. And the Red Bay Tigers will bring it down with a minute 25 to go. And the Red Bay Tigers turn that ball over. Number 22 with a steal is Corey Child. Inside the layup missed by Newsite and on the rebound. We'll see who they get the cabinets missed it and the foul on the rebound goes against Newsite. And we're going to go to the other end of the floor and shoot uh, a double bonus for the Red Bay Tigers. A minute and 10 seconds to go. Appreciate the Cardinal driving on the Golden Rose, Stephen and Denise. Don't forget, uh, they got the specials on the board every day, 356-2358 if you'd like to call ahead. Brooklyn Bolton will go to the line for the Red Bay Tigers. Brooklyn's first free throw is up and no good. Number 24 checking in for Newsight is Mamie Cavness. Uh, 32 McElroy will check out. Brooklyn Bolton can put the Tigers up by three if she can make this free throw, she does. 20 to 18, uh, no, 20 to 17. Long shot in the corner, new site up and no good. Holly Harden with a rebound for the Tigers. Kennedy in the backcourt, looks, goes down to Harden. They didn't see it, but Brooklyn Bolton was wide open under the basket, but uh, this pressure by new site makes it kind of difficult to see sometimes. Brooklyn Bolton for the layup, it's no good, and she's going to be fouled. So Brooklyn's going to go back to the line to shoot two for the Red Bay Tigers. And the free throw up and no good. Appreciate the Red Bay Gas and Water Department. Don't forget to call before you dig at 356-8622. Don't forget your G Applied Stores in Belmont. It's Tri-State, uh, Kim and Colin Wells and Tracy Wells. Next free throw is good. And the Red Bay Tigers lead it 21 to 17. Chambers with the ball on the right wing. Goes to Hammock. Hammock now at the top. Back right side to 22, Childs. Childs working on Darby Madden on that right wing. We're down to 32 seconds to go, 21 to 17 the score, 21 to 17. New site, right side to Charles. New site dribbling around, might be going for the last shot here, 14 seconds to go. Down to eight seconds. Chambers at the top of the key, four seconds. Hammock back to Chambers. Chambers shoots one at the buzzer. No good. Air ball. And a little bit long on that one. 21 to 17. She had to kind of rush that one and uh, put just a little bit too much on it. So we've played a half. Red Bay led 8 to 5 at the end of the first quarter and lead right now 21 to 17 at halftime. Today's game, of course, brought to you by Franklin Electric. 356-4413, serving Red Bay and Franklin County. Also making the game possible today is BJ's Hair Sessions, located Highway 23 North. Don't forget on our old hair products, buy one, get the second one at 40% off. BJ's got over 26 years experience. Quit doing that. Quit doing that. Also to thank H&R Block of Red Bay Iuka Fulton and Tiffin Motorhomes, all on our broadcast here tonight. Here's the Red Bay Tiger cheerleader. Time once again. The score is 21 to 17. 21 to 17. We got uh, second half action coming up in just a little bit. This is WRMG TV 12, TV 97. 
Today's game brought to you by Bart Moss, who wants to be your next superintendent of education. Bart will be a fresh new voice for education in Franklin County. He will offer a positive vision for our schools. Go to bartmoss2016.com. H&R Block on a broadcast along with Tiffin Motorhomes. H&R Block, of course, in Red Bay, Iuka, and Fulton, Mississippi. Also on a broadcast tonight is Dr. Stephen Ray's Family Dentistry. 356-8899, located on the Golden Road. Since 1993, it's Dr. Ray, Michelle, Regina, Amy, and Candace. And I saw Dr. Ray and Miss Michelle uh, getting out of the office, and they're working in that concession stand. And they do that all the time. A lot of these folks uh, uh, got kids playing. They're working concession stands. They're selling this. They're selling everything else, trying to keep uh, the funds rolling for the different projects at school. And, and uh, Dr. Stephen and uh, Michelle do a wonderful job at that. Also want to thank Community Spirit Bank, your hometown bank with hometown solutions. Mr. Brad Bolton, I see him sitting across ways over there with old Mike Kennedy and Jared Massey sitting there close by. They're here enjoying the game tonight. Red Bay leads right now 21 to 17. Also a big shout out tonight to Hallmark Restaurant over in Belmont, Mr. Joe Hastings, the area's newest restaurant located on the square in Belmont. Well, they got, of course, plate lunches uh, Monday through Friday from 11 to 2. They also have an extra, extra buffet after church on Sunday. Don't forget, you can order off the menu on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evenings, and they'll bring a new dining experience to the area, specializing in uh, different type of pasta dishes, the grilled salmon, maybe the chicken cordon bleu, much, much more, Hallmark Restaurant, 662-479-5030. Also, Fastway Car Wash, along with Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont, the City of Red Bay, the Joe Holmes Oil Company by Big Star, Harden Heating and Cooling, the Red Bay Body Shop and Record Service, along with Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company. Red Bay leads new site girls at half 21 to 17. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Don't forget, if you'd like to get a copy of tonight's game, they are available on DVD. You can call us at... Um, not during the game, but you can uh, call us at 454-9797 or 256-356-4458, and we'll get you all fixed up. Back to action here from WRMG TV 12, TV 97, Jack Ivey, Randall Lindsay, and the Red Bay Tigers will get the ball first. Leading 21 to 17, Darby Madden over to Kennedy. Kennedy cross court to Harden. Morgan Pierce now to the top of the key over on that left side there to Darby Madden. The Tigers going to move it around. Boy, the red shirts is running them down everywhere. The Tigers good ball movement. There's a cut. Morgan Pierce wide open for the layup. Good. Boy, that was some good ball movement. It turned out the Tigers get a basket on it. Good job, Morgan Pierce. Morgan's got seven. No good for a new site. Red Bay gets it back, leading by six points. Morgan on the left wing. Now to the high post, Darby Madden. Tigers moving around again. They go to Morgan. Morgan's open for another layup. It's up good. 25 to 17. 25 to 17. Hammock deep down in the corner. Back out to the top of the key. Number two is Sidney Presley. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage this season so far. We've got a lot more games. Of course, we'll be over in that Lauderdale County Christmas tournament the week after Christmas. We've got Belmont and Red Bay. Is that next Friday night, Randall? Hammock with the ball out near the circle. Goes right side. She'll hand off and replacing her in about that same spot as Corey's child. Child's penetrates, works on Hope Cook. Probably should have carried it on in there because Hope's got three fouls. There's Hammock going in, reverse, up and good. Hammock's had a good night tonight. Three, six, eight, ten points to lead new side in scoring. She's a freshman, 25 to 19. Red Bay on top by six with 6.05 to go. Darby Madden tried to go around number three, backed it out. Three, of course, is Camille Cavness. New sites undefeated coming into this game tonight. Kennedy gets away. Kennedy drives in, pulls up a shot off the glass. Good. Allie Kennedy getting her first point of the game. 
Tigers have just taken what new side to give them. Uh, they've earned every bit of it. There's Hammock for the long three. It's up no good. New side to run down the rebound back near midcourt. You just pass the ball around and look for the open man. And take what's available. And we got another foul. That's against Hope Cook. And that'll be her fourth foul of the game. So Hope will have to take an early exit right here and she'll miss the rest of the third quarter here. And they didn't get a, somebody down to the table in time. There's number 22 driving by, just missed the layup. And now New Sight will commit a foul after Red Bay got a rebound. Number 22, Corey Childs reached in and committed a foul. That'll be her second foul. Live coverage of Red Bay Tiger basketball. Humphreys will check in the ball game and Hope Cook will check out. Red Bay leads 27 to 19. Red Bay got it in and a ball stolen away by Childs. And ball out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by Carly Humphreys. Appreciate the Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont along with uh, Joe Holmes Oil Company. Big star of Red Bay also on our broadcast. Hammock drives in, shot up no good, rebound, new side got it. Presley got the rebound. Hammock on the baseline, kicks that ball back out. And number two, Sydney Presley will bring it out. She'll go right side to Hammock. Hammock working on Carly Humphreys, comes back to Sydney Presley. Presley working one-on-one -on -one against Kennedy, goes left side. Cabinets drives in, kicks it back in the corner to McElroy. New site with it again, Hammock. Hammock drives in a little traffic, and we're gonna have a whistle and a reach-in foul against, I believe, Allie Kennedy is gonna be charged with that foul. That is Kennedy's second foul, second team foul against the Red Bay Tigers here in the second half, one foul against New Sight. McElroy drives in, puts it up, it's no good. New site still with the rebound. They'll try to take it inside. Now the ball loose out of bounds and go to Red Bay. Appreciate Harden Heating and Cooling, your official York Heating and Cooling deal. Three generations of 43 years plus now in the business. Doing it right, day in and day out. Oh, Allen and Ash, they do a wonderful job and appreciate them sponsoring the game tonight. We got a holding foul against New Site in the back court. Number 22, Corey Childs, I believe just got her third foul of the game. Red Bay will play at side court. Morgan Pierce will do the inbound. Double team. Is Kennedy on the inbound. Kennedy being guarded there by Hammock. Left side to Holly Harden. To Morgan Pierce. Morgan right there in front of Coach Donnie Roberts on the sideline. Red Bay Tiger basketball. And driving all the way in. Got the ball back again. May have fought through a foul, but a good job of Darby Madden to get the basket. Darby's had a good night tonight. We got a whistle and a foul as we get to the other end of the floor. Red Bay leads 29 to 19. And Morgan Pierce is going to be charged with her second foul. Let me tell you how many points Darby has got. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five out of five from the line. 29 to 19, Red Bay a 10-point lead over New Side. There's Hammock. Hammock shot short. Save back in to Kennedy. And Kennedy in some traffic, and New Side steals it, and they'll end up with it. Jordan Clark got it. Now Hammock will shoot a long three. It's up no good. Rebound. Chambers got it. Chambers goes to the other side, puts it up no good. Number two goes back up. Sidney Presley, and we got a whistle and a foul. Twenty-nine to nineteen, Harden is going to be charged with a foul. Twenty-nine to twenty, the next free throw is up and no good. Guess what? She gets her own rebound. Her is number two. That's Sydney Presley. Her four points of the game and the three. Who got that one, Randy? Number three got it. That is uh, Camille Cavanis getting the three. So that's a. Pretty good trip down the floor for New Sight. 
That 29 to 19 lead is now 29 to 23. And Red Bay, Morgan Pierce is kind of trapped over there. And Coach Johnny Roberts said, hey, give us a timeout. There is a timeout on the court, 3.05 to go third quarter. We're live on WRMG. Brought to you by the Red Bay Body Shop and Record Service, along with Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company. Also, a big special thanks uh, goes out to Deaton Funeral Home, the Edward Jones agent, Mr. Mike Jones. Stop by his office at 128 North Jackson Avenue in Russellville. Call us at 256-332-7924. Make something in today. Make it at Edward Jones. And I'll tell you what, your agent there is Mr. Mike Jones does a wonderful job, and we'll appreciate him very, very much. Dana's Tumble and Dance Academy also making the game possible. Your owner instructor there is Dana Robinson. I also want to thank Dixie Diesel Service. Best wishes from Denise and Mary Marr. 356-8292. And don't forget for all your catering needs for the holidays, uh, make sure you get in touch with the folks at 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse, Lori and Brent Collin. Today's game brought to you by Med Express of Red Bay, formerly known as the Keller Family Practice. That's Dr. Leota and nurse practitioner Kayla Humphreys, 356-8907. Darby Madden off to Kennedy as we're back to action. Kennedy back out near midcourt being guarded there by Hammock, and Hammock is going to be charged with a holding foul. That's Hammock's first foul of the game. 29 to 23, Red Bay leads over the new site, Lady Ross. Morgan Pierce trapped over there again by Clark. Tries to get it back, and if Red Bay comes out of there without turning it over, and they didn't. Steal by new site, new site for the layup. Sidney Presley, you get trapped over there near the baseline, and Nowhere to go with it. Your chances uh, coming out of there unscathed is not good. Red Bay on the pass from Kennedy, stolen away, and they're going to have a foul against Kennedy. Kennedy's tried to hit Holly Harden on the baseline, and ball was stolen away. Then Kennedy, I guess, tried to steal it back, defending, and uh, picked up her third foul of the ball game. We're back to action, 29 to 25. New side has scored six straight points. It was 29 to 19. Five team fouls against Red Bay, three against New Sight. Presley, left side, Hammock, Hammock's long three, up and no good. Rebound, Darby Madden's got it. Darby comes out, but lost the ball and picked up by Macy Chambers, and Chambers puts it in good. 29 to 17, eight straight points after it looked like the Red Bay Tigers were taking control of it. Here comes New Sight roaring right back, and we have got another foul against the New Sight Royals. This time is going to be number three charged with it. That's uh, Camille Cavness, her third foul, fourth team foul against New Sight. Darby Madden on the right wing. Darby penetrates a little bit, kicks it back to Kennedy. Kennedy playing with three fouls. You got Hope Cook. We got another hand check foul against uh, Hammock. So that'll be Hammock's second foul. Cavness will check out of the ball game. Number 21, Grace Marie Farr will check in. And we have got a whistle and a holding foul against Newside again. This is against Grace Marie Farr, who had just checked into the ball game. 16 fouls now against New Sight, five against Red Bay with a minute 34 to go. Thanks to Redmond Pharmacy, AC Weeks of the staff, making the game possible today, along with Dr. Rick Wooten at Wooten Chiropractic. Red Bay into Darby. Darby stops, puts it up good, and she is fouled. Darby's 13th point of the ball game. And Jordan Clark is charged with a foul. That'll be her fourth foul for New Sight. That's big. Minute 31 to go. The free throw is up and good. Now we're in the third quarter. Red Bay, who had let New Sight score eight straight points, gets a three point trip that time and makes it 32 to 27. 32 to 27 with a minute 28 to go. 
We're in the third quarter live in Red Bay, Alabama tonight here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Long three-point shot, no good by Newsite. Rebound scramble for it. We're going to have a jump, and that ball will belong to Newsite. Appreciate uh, Dr. Rick Wooten, 331-0208. He's at 301 Jackson Avenue along with Swamp John's Restaurant and Catering. Get hooked on Swamp John's, 32-27. And we're going to have a check foul there against the Red Bay Tigers. Holly Harden's going to be charged with a foul. One minute and 12 seconds to go, third quarter. Red Bay leading 32-27. Today's game brought to you by Mr. J's along with CBNS Bank. Number two, drive it in. Dishes off the pass. Now kick it back. Hammock. Hammock drives in. A little running shot. Good. Good job by Chloe Hammock. Chloe's got uh, 3, 6, 8, 10, 12 in the game. The lead new site. Red Bay quickly down the floor. Has the ball knocked out of bounds. Thirty-two twenty-nine. Thirty-three back into the game is Madison Farr. Red Bay will inbound it underneath their own basket. Got it to Kennedy. Kennedy shoots the three. It's up. It's no good. Rebound. New has got it. Sydney Presley. Presley takes it coast to coast. The layup no good. She's foul. Darby Madden is going to be charged with that one. That's only the first foul against Darby. Seven team fouls against both teams right now. And at the line is New Sight. Free throw, no good by Sydney Presley. Sydney's got three, five, six in the aim. She is, the next free throw is good. Two out of four from the line, 32 to 30. Red Bay's Kennedy with the basketball. Hope Cook's been on the bench for a good while with four fouls. Kennedy down the lane. Kennedy shot up no good. Rebound tipped around. Chambers got it to Hammock. Hammock pushing it up to four. 25 seconds to go. Presley and Newsite trailing by two. Presley goes around Kennedy, takes it in the lane, goes up, puts it up good. I don't know how she got it up, but a good play to tie this game up with 12 seconds to go in the third quarter. Kennedy takes the pass from Morgan Pierce. Kennedy with five seconds to go. Takes it behind the back, loses control, it's out of bounds, and Red Bay will not get a shot off. New site will. 1.4 seconds to go. Let's see what New site can do with it with 1.4 seconds to go. Not going to be able to get it off. 32 to 32, 32 to 32. And that is the score at the end of the third quarter. Randall, we got a battle going here, haven't we? 32 to 32, you doing good over on the camera tonight? Randall says he is, he's got a sport and a brand new camera tonight, a brand new DVD recorder. I won't tell him what you did uh, to the camera the other night. You took it home with you, didn't you? Now, Randall said he deserved a new camera and a new, new DVD recorder. Special thanks to Denisa once again back at Control Center tonight. Hopefully you're enjoying the broadcast wherever you're at tonight. Uh, I know we got a lot of folks out there listening. Do me a favor, keep the folks posted online. It's 3232 after three quarters, but you could do me even a bigger favor. Send them a link on how they can listen to the game. WRMGradio.com. Just click on the Red Bay link and you'll be able to get the game. You know, the station is a brand new clothing store in Belmont. It's at four way stop number two. They got, of course, kids clothes. They got baby gifts, jewelry, a lot of specialty items for the men and ladies. And uh, you can call them at 454-1034. Savings, they got sales going on every day. And I'll tell you what, you need to check them out. The station in Belmont. And also a big sale going on right now at your G appliance store, Tri-State Appliance. That's Kim and Caleb Wells and Tracy Wells, and we got a whistle as we're back to action. Red Bay quickly taking it down to Darby Madden. She's fouled by Chambers. That'll be Chambers' second foul. CBNS Bank, Mary Island Island, thank you, along with Alan Bostick at Sunshine Mills. Mike Schubert, your hometown school board member, 
along with Grace Long, real estate owner broadcast. Don't forget the Red Bay Hospital, Mr. Glenn Jones and all of his staff. Darby's free throw is up and good. She's at 15 in the game. Darby's next free throw is good. Darby's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of eight from the line tonight. Presley driving down the lane, kicks it to Charles. Charles drives to the lane, puts it up no good. The rebound tipped around, and Darby Madden, if she ever gets her hand on it, she's going to pull that thing. Now, Darby pass almost stolen away. Who's hustling New site Lady Royals? You got to be careful on every single little toss. They'll swipe it from you. 34-32, Red Bay by one. Red Bay with the basketball. And New Sight, almost another steal. It's going to be a turnover. And I say almost a steal. It came back to uh, Morgan Pierce, and Morgan uh, dribbled, one dribble, and it was on the out-of-bounds marker. So New Sight, trailing by two, will have the basketball with 7.26 to go. New Sight driving in. The shot up no good. Rebound goes to the Red Bay Tigers. Darby Mann. Darby's, I was going to tell you how many points she got. She's got 16 in the game. Morgan Pierce for the ball on the left wing. Morgan being guarded there by Chambers. Now to the right side, Hope Cook back into the ball game for Red Bay. Kennedy penetrating in, stops, dishes off to Hope Cook. Hope's going to bring that ball back out. Hope has it knocked out of bounds. Appreciate Baymont Wholesale located in the Belmont Industrial Park. Like us on Facebook at Baymont Wholesale. Large selection of lots of goodies to choose from at Baymont. Driving it down the lane is Kennedy, and Kennedy shot good. Adelie with her fourth point of the ball game. Chambers to Hammock. 36-32 Red Bay, and Hammock fires all the way in, puts it up good, and she's fouled. Chambers has had an awesome night. She's got 14 points in the game. So Harden will be charged with a foul, her third one. And the free throw, good to make it 36 to 35. Chambers with 15 in the game, the lead new site. Darby Madden with a ball across the timeline. Darby weaving in and out of traffic goes to the Red Bay Tigers. Kennedy driving down the lane, dishes off to Harley. Harden Harley missed the layup. She got her own rebound and put it up, and again, it will not go. Went off the back of the rim that time. Here comes New Sight. Hammock to Presley. Presley drives in, tries to kick it back out. Now stolen away by the Red Bay Tigers. Thirty-six to thirty-five. Kennedy with the basketball. Kennedy. Coach Donnie Roberts and Coach Byron Sparks coaching it to the max over here tonight with five forty-four to go. Great game. Thirty-six thirty-five. Red Bay. Kennedy has her shot blocked inside. New site taking it coast to coast for the layup. It's up good. Number twenty-two. Corey Childs got it. And New site has taken a one-point lead, 37 to 36. 5.23 to go. Jack Ivy and Randall Lindsay live here at Red Bay. 37 to 36, 37 to 36. Holly Harden, it's up and good from Kennedy. Good job by Holly Harden to put Red Bay back out on top, 38 to 37, and a pass too long from Presley is out of bounds, turnover against New Sight, so Red Bay will have it with right now leading by one. Now the long throw down the court, Red Bay's wide open on the layup for Holly Harden. New Sight not getting back. So a New Sight turnover and a Red Bay layup. Red Bay's up 40 to 37. So New Sight goes up by one. Now Red Bay's back up by three on a couple of boo-boos by New Sight. Doesn't take you long to get behind either way with these two teams. Red Bay on the defensive side. There's Hammock with the ball. Long shot, Hammock, three-pointer, air ball out of bounds. Didn't get quite enough on that one as she was stepping back. New side, I think, will get a timeout. Well, I thought they were. Jordan Clark will 
check into the ball game. Chambers will check out. Four minutes and 32 seconds to go. 4.32 to go. And we got an official timeout. New site young lady going to tie her shoe there. Appreciate the Red Bay Hospital taking care of your friends and family close to home. Good luck from Administrator Glenn Jones, inpatient, outpatient rehab, transitional care, outpatient surgery clinic, clinic therapy, uh, lab and radiology services as well. Good community education programs. We do have a timeout to talk it over. Red Bay 40 to 37. Red Bay 40, new site 37. We're at a four and a half minute mark. This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Jack Ivey live here for your hometown station. Folks, we could not do without you. I promise you that. Remember, we'd love to hear from me. 423-7602. 423-7602. If you'll send us a little message here at the game to let us know if you're out there enjoying our broadcast. And let's see. Once again, if you're out there joining us on the broadcast, somebody sent me a message at 6.56, said I can't hear the game, nobody talking. Well, we were at halftime during that time. Hopefully you've got us now, have you? They never did send us anything back to tell us they could, so I'm assuming that they could. We was, uh, nobody, it was halftime is what it was. 40 to 37, Red Bay on the inbounds. Almost turned it over, now they do. They walk for the basketball. Forty to thirty-seven with four twenty-eight to go in the game. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay here in Red Bay, Alabama. Top of the key is Charles. Charles working on and goes to the layup right around Darby Hadden for the layup. And Charles gets her sixth point of the ball game, and we got a one-point Red Bay lead. Kennedy will bring it down. Red Bay and. New site, lobbing it down low. Madden's got it. Madden shot up good. Eighteen points now for Darby. Long three-point shot. New site, no good. But number two, Red Bay with the rebound. Presley, a little bit short and hit the front of the rim. 42-39. And Coach Donnie Roberts wants a timeout, and he wants a full timeout. We got a full timeout. This is WRMG TV 12 and TV 97 with the Ivy Broadcasting Company. We appreciate all of our great sponsors, of course, making the game possible tonight. And we're going to get a quick word. They don't know it yet, but we're going to get a quick word with. Uh, guess what? You're live on the air. Tell us what's happening down at Fourth Street Grill. We got uh, Miss Lori. Um, not much is going on there right now. As soon as this ball game's over with, we're going to be busy. You're going to be real busy. What about uh, catering? If I want some catering done for the holidays, what do they do? Absolutely. We are booked uh, a lot between next week and the 23rd of December. Still got room for more? Just a little bit. Tuesday and Wednesday of the following week, which is the 22nd and 23rd, we've got some rooms available. So. What about if somebody needs you to prepare them some food for this holiday period? Absolutely, absolutely. Call me. I can make a cake. I can, I can prepare you some food. Sounds good. Lori and Brent Collum, y'all do a wonderful job, and thank y'all so much for all you do. Thank you, Jack. Talking with 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse, old Lori and Brent. At the game here tonight, and what a game have we got going. We're going to be going courtside to talk with the boys, coaches in a little bit. We're back to action. 42 to 39. 42 39 with 3.30 to go. Red Bay lobbing it down low. Darby. Darby puts it up no good. She's fouled. And she'll go to the line to shoot. Don't forget, if you'd like to get a copy of tonight's game or any of the games, we do. They are available, of course, on DVD. We want to hear from you, 423-7602. And Darby Madden at the line shooting makes it 43-39. to Next one is up. It is no good. Really, the foul situations right now, Red Bay has got uh, Hope Cook out there playing with four fouls. Nobody else has got four on the Red Bay side. I believe a couple of ladies from uh, New Sight's got it. The foul went for a layup. It's no good. New Sight with a rebound up no good. Red Bay's going to end up with a rebound with a four-point lead. 
Morgan Pierce is going to be fouled in that court. Kelly, this is unofficial, but Holly Harden with three fouls, Kennedy with three, Hope Cook with four, Darby Madden with only one, and Carly Humphreys with one, Morgan Pierce with a couple of fouls, and that foul is against number 22, and that's Corey Childs getting her fourth. So they've got uh, Jordan Clark with four and Corey Childs with four. Uh, that's unofficial on my book here, and of course mine's always unofficial, Kelly. But uh, we hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Kelly, I don't know where in the world he may be listening to the game tonight. He could be anywhere. Kelly, uh, hopefully you're enjoying it on uh, whatever situation you're listening on. Free throw, Morgan Pierce. She missed the first one, and she makes the second one. She actually shot one while I was talking the first time. 44 to 39. Red bell on top. Presley with the wall top of the key goes right side to Clark. She's on that right wing over there. Being guarded by Morgan Pierce. She'll dribble a little bit, go off to Presley. Presley trying to go around. Kennedy does for the layup. It's up good. This young lady can take that ball to the rack. Sydney Presley makes it a 44 to 41 ball game. Red Bay almost turned that ball over, and they do. Darby Madden's pass stolen away by Jordan Clark. Clark into number 22, Charles. Charles tries to dish it off to his teammate instead of taking the shot, and the ball went out of bounds. Sydney Presley's got 11 points, uh, 15 points for Hammock leading new site, and Corey Childs with six. Here comes Red Bay with a basketball. Hope Cook. And they foul against new site. Darby was actually fouled even before that ball got there. It was so loud in here, I couldn't even hear the whistle. Darby will go to the line. That foul against uh, Macy Chambers will be her third foul. And the Tigers, who had been so good at the free throw line tonight, uh, and Darby missed one just a minute ago. She misses that one. Of course, Morgan Pierce missed her last free throw, too. This one is good uh, by, by Darby. That makes it 45 to 41, so she makes one out of two, and Hope Cook just fouled out of the game. Hope Cook just fouled out of the game. So Hope has spent uh, a pretty good bit of time on the bench with foul trouble here tonight. Coach pats her on the back as she goes by. And right now it's 45 to 41 with 2.15 to go. 2.15 to go in the game. Free throw, new sight is good. Jordan Clark at the line. That's Hammock, I, don't know, I thought it was number 11, but it's 14, Hammock's first one is up good. And the next one is up and good as well. I just saw that one there and I thought it was Jordan Clark, but it's actually Hammock. Hammock's had 17 points in the game tonight. She's three out of three from the line. It's 45 to 43, 45 to 43. A timeout on the floor, timeout on the floor. And while we got that timeout, we'll say how much we appreciate all of our great sponsors tonight, including McDonald's of Red Bay. Don't forget about the value meals. Of course, you can get a, any size drink you want or bottled water for only a dollar any time of the day. And also, you know, they're serving breakfast at night as well. Any time of the day or night, not everything is available, but tons of items uh, from the salt, bacon, egg, and cheese. And, uh, you got uh, you got a lot of goodies. You can still get breakfast items. They serve in every hour that they're open. Talking about McDonald's. Red Bay having trouble getting it in. Finally gets it into Morgan Pierce. Red Bay, uh, rather new side fans wanted to walk against Morgan, but the official said no. 45-43. Morgan's got that ball right in front of Coach Donnie Roberts across the way. Over to. Darby, Darby penetrated a little bit on Chambers and brought that ball right back out. New site really playing some aggressive defense right now. 45-43 with a minute 47 to go. Holly Harden back to Darby Madden. Darby goes around Chambers, goes for the layup, it's up good. Good job working on Chambers. Darby Madden, that'll make it 47 to 43. Number three getting ready to check back in is Camille Cavness. Number two for the layup that's oh no good. She got her own rebound and tried to go back up with it. She did and she's fouled. She'll shoot two 
The clock stopped at a minute and 22 seconds to go. 1.22 on the clock. Red Bay leads 47 to 43. And Holly Harden picks up her fourth foul of the game. Big free throws here for Newsite. And the first one by Sydney Preston is up good. She's got 12. Chambers will check out of the ball game and Kavnis will check out. And the next shot is up, it's good. So she makes them both, 13 for her, 47 to 45. Red Bay a two point lead, they get it into Darby Madden. Darby working on Kavnis, gets it across the timeline. And she is trapped over there and Red Bay gets a timeout. Forty-seven to forty-five, with a minute and fourteen seconds to go. One fourteen to go. Red Bay will have it, only up by two. Today's game brought to you by Davis Ford, six six two eight six two. Thirty-seven eleven. Davis Ford, Fulton, Mississippi. Yeah, of course, it's Northeast Mississippi's oldest Ford dealer. You know, he's been in business over fifty years, serving the area. He's proud to be sponsoring these Red Bay Tigers tonight. Mr. Buster Davis, see Buster and the staff. You know, you could take off over to Florence or Tupelo and some of those places over there, and Buster's going to give you the best deal down there, and he is also uh, sponsoring your game tonight. Uh, I don't know of any of those other dealerships over there that's sponsoring your football or basketball or baseball, but Buster Davis is. Thank you, Mr. Buster. I also want to thank Dr. Ralph Nix, located behind the post office, where your dental health is a part of your total wellness. Dr. Nix, 356-8641. And also a big shout-out once again uh, to Johnny Cleveland. He's excited. He wants to be your next superintendent. The uh, scorer's clock blows the horn, and I, don't, I guess that was they started back just a second quick. Red Bay will take it in with a minute 12 to go to get it into Darby Madden. Darby looks for help, goes to Kennedy. 103 to go. Darby in front of the Tiger bench comes to Holly Harden. Now to the right side to Carly Humphrey, to Kennedy. 53 seconds to go. Red Bay with a two point lead. Darby goes around her man, takes it for the layup. It's up and good. She's fouled. Darby has taken two different players to school over on that. Uh, actually, not Darby that time. That was Holly Harden. Uh, Holly, uh, of course, duplicated what uh, Darby did earlier, and they was out on Holly really big time close, and she just checked her and went around and went for the layup and got foul, put the Red Bay up by four. She'll shoot a free throw. It's up good. Seven points, Red Bay by five with 45 seconds to go, 50 to 45. Hammock takes it right side to Chambers. Chambers drives in traffic, back to Hammock. Hammock, a long three, it's short. Tipped up and the ball out of bounds and it'll go to New Site. New Site will have it. 50 to 45 with 33 seconds to go. Presley on the inbound. New Site's got to hurry. It's a five point lead by the Red Bay Tigers. In traffic, Red Bay almost stole it. Chambers back to the top of the key. Three pointer by New Site. It's up good and New Site wants a timeout. Corey. Sydney Presley knocks that one down. She's got uh, three, five, 16 points in the ball game. 17 in the game for uh, Chloe Hammock. Red Bay Tigers tonight, uh, let's see, you got 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 22 for Darby Mann. Red Bay Tigers cheerleaders, you can hear them across the way. Also wanna thank uh, Redmond Heating and Cooling making the game possible tonight. That's, of course, Mr. Patrick Brooks, 662-279-6569, residential and commercial installation, services and repairs, free estimates, of course. New installation, he's state certified, he's licensed, he's bonded, he's a good guy, I promise you. Mr. Redmond Heating and Cooling is Patrick Brooks. Tri-State Appliance, Sales and Service, Colin, Tracy, and Kim Wells, your GE Appliance Store. They got everything you're looking for when it comes to GE Appliances at the best prices and you'll be buying in your hometown area instead of shopping at the big box stores out of town. Keep your money local. Shop Tri-State in Belmont. On the inbound, the Tigers turn it over, and Newsite gets a timeout. 
Well, the Tigers a little uh, lazy on the inbounds, just a little kind of a little lazy inbound bounce. And guess what? The quick new site roll stepped in and took it away. And that five point lead is at two right now with 18.6 seconds to go. And uh, new site got the steal, got a timeout, and they're going to set up a play right here. And uh, the Tigers, I thought, had it under control. And uh, Gary Armstrong, thank you so much for making the game. Folks, if you need dirt moved, you need a backhoe or dozer work done, I promise you, Gary is the best in the business. 256 810 4596. Gary, we appreciate you sponsoring football, basketball, baseball, softball. Appreciate you. Once again, Johnny Cleveland, you need to vote for him in March as your next superintendent. Johnny Cleveland with 32 years experience. New site with the ball inbound, 17 seconds. They go for the layup, it's up and good. Number 22, Corey Childs goes around everybody. And the Red Bay Tigers have the ball stolen, but we got a whistle and a foul. And I think they're gonna call a blocking foul against New site, and that is the case. And we're gonna go to the other end of the floor and shoot two. They got a blocking foul against New site. That young lady just fouled out. That's uh, Camille Kavnis. So the Tigers, when that ball, when that foul occurred, the ball got loose and Newsite had picked it up and was going to take it for a layup in the backcourt. But the whistle blew on a blocking foul. And we are tied up with 9.8 seconds to go. And with 22 points, Darby Madden will shoot two shots. First one is up. No good. She gets two because it is a double bonus. Appreciate the Banner Tire Store making the game possible tonight. Next free throw is good. Red Bay up by one with nine seconds to go. New site driving it to the basket. The shot is up, no good, and a foul against Red Bay with five seconds to go. So New Sight will go to the line. Number 22, Corey Childs will go to the line to shoot two. Remember, there's only five seconds to go. Coach Johnny Roberts on the other end is already setting this play up, assuming that she's going to make both of them a what? She missed the first one. Corey Childs misses the first one. She can tie it up. We could be getting ready for overtime, Randall. Be ready. Here we go, 51 to 50. Red Bay by one. New site shoots one more free throw, and the Tigers Missed the shot, and we've got a foul on the rebound. New site wanted a new site wanted a tiger stepping in bounds too quick. The foul is against New site with 3.6 seconds to go. They wanted a lane violation against Red Bay. The official didn't call it. I don't know where she did or not. Free throw by Morgan Pierce is up good. That foul, by the way, was against uh, number two, Sidney Presley. Red Bay can go up by three with a free throw here. It's up, it's good. New site with three seconds. They'll drive it in. A layup's not gonna do it. And New site. And the Red Bay Tigers have battled to a Red Bay Tiger win, 53 to 50. Red Bay has won the game. Fifty-three to fifty. Fifty-three to fifty. Red Bay has won it, and Coach Johnny Roberts hugging uh, Coach Byron Sparks over there, telling him what an outstanding game it was, and it was an outstanding game. Red Bay Tigers making their way out on the floor, thanks to Predator Pest Control for making the game possible tonight. Also, Franklin County Probate Judge Barry Moore by Albin Mason Construction Company. Also on our broadcast tonight, we told you about the Banner Tire Store. They are your Duck Commander Tire Headquarters. Also on our broadcast here tonight is CJ's serving quality food at affordable prices. Of course, CJ's is open seven days a week, four in the morning, seven at night, four in the morning till seven at night, and what a game that one was. The Red Bay Tigers winning it 
53 to 50, 53 to 50, the Red Bay Tigers winning the game here tonight. I'm Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay. Stay tuned, we're at the boys action coming up next. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. This is Jack Ivey once again live. We're down courtside, gonna get a quick word with hopefully coach uh, Larry Johnson and John Tarisky. Once again, this is Red Bay and Newside basketball here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Come on up and talk to me, Coach. Coach, uh, I didn't know it, uh, but uh, there's a, another good ball game probably on tap right here. But boy, that was a barn burner. That's a barn burner. That's a good one. I, I, I enjoyed that. You think Not that we got beat, but I enjoyed watching. I tell you what, old Coach Johnny Roberts and Coach Byron as far as they was coaching to the last second. Oh, it? yeah, yeah. Coach, for these folks over in Red Bay that don't know a little bit about, uh, Coach Larry Johnson here has been uh, not only playing basketball, but coaching for a long time. And uh, you go back to the old Gerald Cavanis days, Coach Cavanis. Do you coach like him at all? Uh, in some ways, yeah. <laughs> I can't be as mean as he was. Now, he, he, <laughs> would he get after you? He'd get after you. He'd get after you and stuff. Coach, tell us a little bit about this ball club. I, unless you've played since I saw you the other night, you're like eight and three. Unless we're you're eight and three, uh, you know we have good nights and we have some. We're still trying to find some pieces, and uh, but you know when we play, we play pretty good, and when we don't, we, you know that's one of those things. That we're, we're not as consistent as we need to be yet. You had a player or two out uh, injured. Uh, are they going to be able to go tonight? No, 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 no. It'll be after Christmas at least before they come back. So. Coach, always good to see you. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and good luck tonight. I right, appreciate it. Old that. John Trisky down there, Coach Roberts, the son-in-law, you think he may try to beat you tonight? Uh, he probably will. <laughs> they're, they're awful young. They're trying to find it too, but uh, you do it right out here on good games like this, right? Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Coach Larry Johnson joining us here on WRMG. Jack Ivey live, and we have got the world famous Coach John Trisky. Coach, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Well, Coach, you got these uh, new site Royals. Uh, in fact, last game didn't get anybody fired up. Uh, they can't get fired up, right? No, that was a good game, I, I hope, to follow up on. Uh, we'll see. I know they're a pretty strong team. So, Coach, what do you know about this uh, new site ball club? They're 8-3 and three coming into tonight. Yeah, I watched them on film. Uh, they're just they're good ball players. Uh, they know how to play with each other as far as passing and catching. Uh, they know where everybody is on the court, uh, a lot of experience. So it's going to be tough for us, but I hope we're up to the challenge. Coach, uh, team's struggling a little bit right now, and I know you want to do what you can to get this team rolling and uh, just keep working, right? That's right. It's it's tough when you play this good competition, but we're trying to get them better, so I hope it will pay off in the end. Appreciate you, Coach. I, the, the old officials is wanting us here. We're going to work in with the officials here. This is Red Bay and New Sight Basketball on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Spoke All right, 14 12, you're going to be charged your team, you're charged the red team, you're charged the white team. And right now, good sportsmanship is a must. Do y'all have any questions? All right, coaches, both teams legally and properly equipped. All right, shake hands. Good luck, gentlemen. Officials before the game here tonight, this is WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Hey, we may have to give him a raise, right? We're going to work our way back up, Randall. It's the Red Bay Tigers getting ready to take on new side in boys action. We appreciate you folks being out there tonight. An awesome crowd here with Red Bay and, of course, uh, new site, Belmont. And Red Bay is going to play, I believe, next Friday night. We'll be there. Of course, we got a crew tonight uh, over at Tish County covering the uh, doing good here, doing Tish County and uh, Shannon. But uh, I guess the next big game we're going to do, of course, is Tish County and Alcorn Central next week. And, of course, Belmont and Red Bay. That'll be down at Belmont, right, Randall? Stay tuned. We're going to have the starting lineups for this one coming up. Red Bay will be in white. And New Sight will be in red. It's going to take an extra, extra special effort for the Tigers to get a win over these New Sight Royals like Coach uh, Said they uh, play very well together. They're a good fundamental team. And if you're playing for Coach Larry Johnson, 
you better be ready to play. We're going to turn it over to our public address announcer, Mitch Nethery. Brother Mitch. Tate Osborne, Levi Macknett, Austin Milam, Peyton Green. Starting for the Red Bay Tigers. New Snipe, Ramsey Ivey. Throwing a start tonight. Number 22, Tillman Floyd. Number 14, Ashton Johnson. Isaac King, number 21. And Landron Woodruff, number 24. We're about ready to get this underway. Levi Magnat jumping for the Red Bay Tigers. Woodruff, I believe, jumping for Newsite. That tip is controlled by Newsite. Number 21, got it. Isaac King. New side in red, the Red Bay Tigers are in the white. 7.48 to go, New side taking it down low. Shot up good by number 22, Tillman Floyd. So New side jump shot to an early lead. This is the Red Bay Tiger Basketball Network. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay with us tonight. Denise back in control center, hopefully you enjoying our broadcast on the Ivey Broadcasting Stations. WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Tipped uh, ball knocked out of bounds. Understand, I didn't ask him about it. I should have. Uh, Coach Larry Johnson going to be retiring after this year. He played again on some of those big uh, teams back in the 60s for New Site for Coach Gerald Cavendish. New Site with a steal. The pull up jump shot by Ashton Johnson is up good and New Site. Out to a four to nothing lead. New site playing the zone. We'll get after you defensively. They shoot the ball well. They, they steal those lanes away from me, so you pass this better be crisp. Peyton Green, turn around, free throw line, shot up no good, off the mark. Rebound Ashton Johnson, and Johnson with the basketball goes around everybody, lays it up good. Six to nothing the score with 6.34 to go. Red Bay with the ball, Austin Milam. Milam on the left wing. He's got uh, Chandler Allen over on the right side. Out at the point, Tate Osborne, and new side almost got a steal there from Chandler. Chandler gets it back. Chandler takes it in, dishes it off, ball stolen away. What appeared to be open for a half a second, new side to uh, close the gap in a hurry. 
New site with the ball right wing. That's Ramsey Ivy. Ivy taking it down low to King. King puts it up good. Isaac King with the basket, and it is eight to nothing. 5.54 to go. Mitch Nethery, uh, Brother Mitch, across the way on the public address tonight. Doing a great job as always. Eight to nothing with 5.43 to go. Live coverage of Red Bay Tiger. And new site basketball here tonight on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Taking that ball down low, Red Bay to McNatt. McNatt has his shot blocked, and there's going to be a foul. Eight to nothing the score. It'll Levi Magnat will go to the line for the Red Bay Tigers. Appreciate CJ serving quality food at affordable prices. Open seven days a week. They open at four in the morning till seven at night. That daily open, by the way, from four in the morning till two in the afternoon. Green will check out of the ball game. Number 14, Jesus Kelly will check in. Levi has made the first one. He makes the second one. And we've got a 8-2 ball game, 5.28 to go. New site, Ivy out to King. King wears uh, number 21. Down there, Floyd, and we got an offensive foul called against New site. Number 22 offensively is, is going to be Tillman Floyd with the offensive foul. Go check out of the ball game. Ryan Whitley will check into the game. Eight to two the score. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay live here today on WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Jesus Kelly and Jesus gonna be charged for what? New site quickly down the floor, a little Spin move in there, and the Tigers are going to be charged with another foul. That light, come on, Randall. One of the lights up here just come back on, kind of brightened everything up. Free throw is up in number 14, uh, Ashton Johnson. Makes them both. He's already got uh, six in the game. It's a 10 to 2 ball game. New side on top. Uh, the Red Bay Tigers with 4.50 to go. These boys, a uh, young team struggling right now and, and played some pretty tough teams and trying to scramble to figure out a way to get a win. Coach John Tarisky, I know that he says the team's been working really hard. And Tate Osman back to. The New Side Royals got it steal in the Red Bay. Tried to steal it back. Now New Side loses it out of bounds. Them lights are going on and off. You know what it is, don't you? Those lights are on a uh, timer, you know, a motion control, and they're going off because there's nobody on the other end of the floor. They need to take it off of that particular thing because I don't know where they even realize the lights are going on and off. But yeah, you you watch them. I don't know, I guess you can set it where that won't, don't happen. And uh, you figure out their motion detectors on them. And uh, taking it down low, new site gets a steal. New site quickly down the floor, and they lead 10 to 2. They go up, and the shot is no good. New site with a rebound, but it's loose on the floor. A big scramble for it, and it's out of bounds. Give it to the New site Royals underneath their own basket. New site on the inbounds, number 24 is wide open on the inbound. Landreth Woodruff. Make it a 12 to two ball game. Three minutes and 31 seconds to go. New site and Red Bay girls. Red Bay coming out on top, 53 to 50. What a game that was. 53 to 50. 
I know Coach Johnny Roberts and Coach Byron Sparks uh, battled that one down to the wire. And nobody wanted to lose that one, and that was a good one. Big win for the Red Bay Tigers. Doesn't mean anything as far as postseason, but I guarantee it's going to mean a lot to uh, getting that win against a good quality team. New site blocking the shot of Tate Osmond. New site quickly down the floor. Number 14 dishes off. Backside. The layup is up good by King. And Red Bay will get a timeout. 14 to 2. Red Bay is only two points off of free throws. And those free throws was some Levi Magnet. And right now with 246 to go, it's 14 to 2. The Red Bay Tigers, uh, of course, trailing. The New Site Royals. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Today's game brought to you by Ronnie Cook, your modern woodman of American agent. He offers financial services and fraternal member benefits to individuals and family, and he's serving your community. Ronnie Cook, 423-8477. Start that conversation today at modernwoodman.org. Founded in 1883. Now, I didn't say Ronnie Cook was founded in 1883, but Modern Woodman. Start your conversation today with Modern Woodman and Mr. Ronnie Cook. Also want to thank HW Watching Logging Company, Kevin and Harold, along with Alpha Insurance of Red Bay, Stadium Pros, Keith Kennedy, Alton Varksdale, Silver Dollar Grocery, Mr. Rick Sparks and Golden. All your discount groceries at great, great prices. Also, 4th Street Grill and Steakhouse, Lori and Brent Collum making the game possible. Red Bay down low, he's still almost. But New Sight got it back now, or rather Red Bay got it back now. New Sight steals it again. New Sight for the layup, no good. But an Austin Milam foul, and New Sight will go to the line. Gath Weatherford getting ready to check into the ball game. Free throw by New Sight, in and out, no good by Austin Johnson. Peyton Green back into the game and also Gath Weatherford. Milam and Jesus Kelly will check out at the 225 mark. Appreciate Cash and Thermal Clash to Chuck and Miss Barber and the staff. That free throw was good. Made one out of two. It's 15 to two. All new side here in the first quarter with 220 to go. Coach Larry Johnson, new side. Coach John Tariski of Red Bay Tigers. Green with the basketball to Gath Weatherford. Weatherford in the circle. Hands off to Tate Osman. Osman sees an opening to the basket. Goes for the layup. He's foul. And we'll go to the line to shoot. And the free throw is up by Tate Osman. Fifteen to three. The next free throw is good. Red Bay's got four points on the board, all from the free throw line. Fifteen to four. The score. New site on the left wing. Long NBA three. In and out, no good. New site hustling for the rebound. Puts it back up. Good. Number twenty-four got that one. Landon Wood getting his fourth point of the ball game. Don't forget you can watch this game on YouTube. Go to YouTube.com, search Jack Ivy, and you'll be able to see it. We'll have that uploaded for you tomorrow. We've got several of the games uploaded for you. Watch that Belmont New Site game, several Tish County, Belmont, and Red Bay games all up there. Weatherford over to McNatt. McNatt in traffic is going to be fouled. Appreciate Piggly Wiggly of Belmont, Red Bay, and Iuka, your hometown grocery store. Great prices. Don't forget uh, Piggly Wiggly's Deli. Got great, great prices, great food. Shannon Oliver, your Franklin County Sheriff, wishing the teams good luck tonight. New side, another steal. Number 14 for the layup. It's up and good. Ashton Johnson, nine points for him. It's 19 to four. Chandler Allen, back to green, down low to Gath Weatherford. Weatherford stops, puts it up no good. He's foul. Appreciate Belmont Pharmacy and, of course, Bill and Donna Weatherford. I see them across the way. That's their young and right there, Gath Weatherford. Going to the line. Bill and Donna will appreciate you making all these games possible for Red Bay and also Belmont as well. Gas free throw. 
is no good. He'll get another shot coming. And the next shot is up. It's good. Makes one out of two. 19 to 5 with 57 seconds to go. We're still in the first quarter. Today's game brought to you by the Medical Clinic of Red Bay. Dr. Fabi Young and his staff. New site shot up no good. Red Bay with a rebound. Tate Osmond got it. Whether you're looking for family medicine, sports medicine, or geriatric, Dr. Fabi Young and also their telephone number, 356-9511. Ball out of bounds, turned over by the Tigers. They're next to the hospital, Medical Clinic of Red Bay. And also, don't forget Carl Lewis Sausage, available at Swamp John's and the Old Country Store. 19 to five. Red Bay almost got him a steal. Good hustle there by the Tigers. 17 seconds. King, the long three, top of the key, it's up good. Isaac King getting his seventh point of the ball game. It's 22 to five. Five seconds, Tiger to Weatherford. Weatherford tries to bounce, pass it to King. The ball stolen away, and they'll shoot it, but too late. We're at the end of the first quarter. It is 22 to five. New site leading the Red Bay Tigers. Today's game, of course, live in Red Bay. Again, Red Bay girls win tonight over New site. That score was 53 to 50. 53 to 50, 23 points for Darby Madden tonight. And let's see, Morgan Pierce got three, five, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12. Back to action from WRMG. Red Bay with a basketball. Almost a stolen pass for New Site. Green with the basketball over Chandler and if you just joined us, it's 22 to 5. New Site leading Red Bay. We got a whistle on a foul against New Site. Foul against Ashton Johnson, number 14. Red Bay with the ball across the timeline. Red Bay's done a lot of updates on the gym. Got her looking good. Now still the new site. They're going to have an easy layup and a Red Bay Tiger foul on the other end of the floor. Twenty-four to five, with seven seventeen to go. Try to get you a score of Tish County game tonight. Tish County and Shannon. How you doing, sir? You doing all right? 24 to 5. New side to bring it down after the foul. I guess 22 earlier there, unless I didn't give you that while I was trying to get a score there. Tillman Floyd got his second foul. Red Bay's got it back now, trading 24 to five. Thank you once again to the Cardinal drive-in, Stephanie and Denise. See them before and after the game and throughout the day, the specials are always right there on the board. Let me tell you a little bit more about Belmont Pharmacy. They got a digital kiosk photo maker where you can uh, make all kinds of pictures from your Facebook page. Uh, Print them off of just about any media. 
Tate Osborne with the basket. He got the three-point shot there. So the, that's the first basket from the field for Red Bay, the three-pointer. There's number 33, Ryan Whitley got a basket. I guess I better give Tate Osborne credit for that uh, three-pointer. He's got eight, uh, five points in the ball game. Red Bay's got eight on the board, trailing by 18. 26 to uh, eight is the score, 5.36 to go. Kelly with a shot up, no good. Rebound, running it down is number 14, Ashton Johnson. And the shot is up by Newsite, in and out, no good. Newsite hustling after the rebound, and the basket is up and good, and a foul against Red Bay. Are they gonna say the foul's on the floor or what? They said it was on the floor, but um, I'm gonna say he should have got that basket and been at the line shooting. They get the ball in King and he's foul. That last foul was against 14. Jesus Kelly. And that one there was against 22 Floyd. That's his third foul. On the inbounds, we're going to have another foul against Red Bay. They're going to go to the line to shoot two this time. We'll check that foul there. Got some activity over the scores table, straightening out something there. 33 will go to the line. This is Ryan Whitley. Ryan with two points in the ball game. We'll shoot two here. First one up by Ryan is good. Good. He can put he can put new side up by 20. Allen back into the ball game. Magnet back in as Weatherford and Milam will check out. 26 to 8. Make it 27 to 8. This can make it 28, and he does. 5.09 to go. And Red Bay trailing by 20 points. Tate Osmond on the left side. Trying to work Magnet high post. Peyton Green down low. New site doing a good job of covering up the Tigers inside. So the Tigers right now pretty much passing around the horn. Tate Osborne and Chandler Allen and Jesus Kelly are the guards. Chandler on the right side, Jesus on the left. Now they take it in the lane. Back to McNatt. McNatt down low is open, puts it up good. Good play by the Tigers. And New site will get a timeout. So we'll give Mr. McNatt his fourth point of the ball game. 28 to 10 the score. This is WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Don't forget if you'd like to get a copy of this game or any of the games you do, they are available on DVD. Shannon girls tonight, 49. Tish County girls, 44. Shannon boys lead Tish County 32 to 28. And that game at half. Twenty-eight to ten with four eighteen to go, and we got a whistle and a foul away from the ball. That one's gonna go against the new side away from the ball. So that last foul was against uh, number 11 for Newsite. 
And let's mark that down. That's Ramsey Ivy. And this foul is against uh, Red Bay, number 12, Tate Osman. That's Tate's uh, first foul. And the free throw by Newsite up and no good by number 24, Jason Wooder. 28 to 10 is your score. Three minutes and 47 seconds to go. This is Red Bay Tiger basketball on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Brought to you by Red Bay Body Shop and Record Service. Mr. Phillip, Mr. Ransom, and Mr. Allen. Shot up no good by the Tigers. Kelly with a rebound. And New Sight with a steal. New Sight laying it in, and it's up no good. Rebound, Kelly's got it. Coach Dax Glover. And being assisted tonight by Mr. Seth Kennedy, coaching the boys tonight. Filling in for Coach McCallman. And taking it down low is the Red Bay Tigers. Shot up no good. Of course, uh, I guess you saw the replay of the game or whatever on TV 12, TV 97. May have saw it on YouTube. Uh, a couple of technical fouls. And, of course, uh, Coach McCallman was ejected from the game the other night. And. That was the, um, who did play last? Corinth, you know, who was it? Or Kossuth, maybe Corinth or Kossuth game. So 28 to 10 is your score. With two minutes and 28 seconds to go, the Tigers take it down low and they're going to get an offensive foul against McNatt. New side bringing it down with 221. Appreciate the folks of the Red Bay Gas and Water Department. All on our broadcast show tonight. Three point shot. New side, no good. New side with a rebound. They'll fake and they'll kick it back out. Ashton Johnson at the top of the key. Appreciate Consider the Lilies, Angie and Ted, along with Franklin Electric. BJ's Hair Cessities. Down low. Ivy with the ball. Ivy off the glass, no good. And the foul against New side on the rebound. Appreciate uh, Bark Moss, who wants to be your next superintendent of education. You're going to uh, vote for on the Republican ticket for Bark. This thing's not going to be over to next November, folks. Going to be an election in March, and then the big one to make the final decision in March and I mean, over in November. Bark Moss 2016. Bark's going to be a fresh new voice for education in Franklin County. He'll offer a positive vision for our schools. For more information, BartMoss2016.com. 28 to 10, and Red Bay couldn't make the free throw. And New Sight taking that ball down low, 35. The turnaround good, and he's fouled. Good job by Avery Barnes to get it. He was fouled. Appreciate H&R Block of Red Bay Iuka Fulton by Tiffin Motorhomes. Also, Dr. Stephen Ray's family dentistry located on the Golden Road. Practicing since 1993. Your staff members are Dr. Ray, Michelle, Regina, Amy, and Candice. 356-8899. Open Monday through Thursday, 8 to 5. And here's the free throw by Newside. It's up no good. Peyton Green with a rebound. Thirty to ten the score. New site. Let's Gath Weatherford get open in there and a good feed in there from Tate Osborne and a good job by Gath Weatherford to finish that one off. Long three point shot. New site off the mark, no good. Number eleven, Ramsey Ivy with the rebound. Back down low. The shot off the glass by BJ Plaxico is up and good. New site. 32, the Red Bay Tigers are 12, 32, 12. One minute to go. Appreciate Mr. Brad Bolton and all the folks at Community Spirit Bank, Dr. Jim Neighbors, nurse practitioner Carolyn Wilson on our broadcast, and also Hallmark's Restaurant, Mr. Joe Hastings in downtown Belmont. 
as Peyton Green gets a basket down low for the Tigers, his first one of the night. That'll make it 32 to 14 with 38 seconds to go. Long shot, three by Ivy. Ramsey Ivy knocking it down from long range. 35 to 14. He even spells it the same way I do. He's got to be more Ken folks, hasn't he? He won't. He, Ramsey probably wouldn't claim it. Milam to Tate Osborne. Osborne drives in, puts it up good. Good job of Tate Osborne. Seven for Tate Osborne to lead the Tigers in scoring tonight. And we got a walk there against 14 Johnson. We're down to 1.7 seconds to go, 35 to 16. And we're going to have a shot to end the first half. New site led 22 to 5 at the end of the first quarter, now lead 35 to 16 at halftime. New site leads 35 to 16. We're going to be taking a break after the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders perform right here. Appreciate Fastway Car Wash along with Deaton Funeral Home, the city of Red Bay, the Joe Holmes Oil Company by Big Star, Harden Heating and Cooling, and also Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company. This is the Red Bay Tiger Basketball Network. Stay tuned to the Red Bay Tiger cheerleaders. Then we'll have the second half coming up. This is Red Bay Tiger Basketball. Live coverage of Red Bay Tiger basketball here on WRMG. Jack Ivey and Randall Lindsay. We're narrowing this game down. It's uh, starting of the third quarter. New site leads 35 to 16. Coach John Tariski and the Red Bay Tigers trying to figure out a way to get a win. And at least you got the guys hustling, but uh, right now, pretty good. Deficit, shot is up, it's no good. Rebound, put back in the new side again, no good. New side's gonna get another opportunity at it. Good stop over there by Woodruff. Today's game brought to you by Deaton Funeral Home of Red Bay and Belmont, along with Fastway Car Wash out on Highway 19, the city of Red Bay, and the Joe Holmes Oil Company. Don't forget about the Junior Food Mart. If you haven't had any of their food, it's really awesome. Of course, the Bay Mini Mart, Tiger Mart, they got great food as well. We we'll appreciate their three locations in Red Bay making up the Joe Holmes Oil Company. See the world famous Donovan Hand in the house tonight. Hopefully Donovan is going to get over his surgery and get rehabbed up. and be ready to pitch in the Cincinnati Reds organization. Maybe this might be the year of Donovan Hand. We have a shot up and good by number 14 for a new site. 14 is Ashton Johnson, 37 to 16. Chandler Allen with the basketball. Chandler to the right side. You got Austin Milam over the left. Milam's on that left wing with the basketball now. High post now with Magnet. Magnet falls down with the basketball, has it stripped away, and we're going to have a jump. Error pointing back to the Red Bay Tigers. Thirty-seven to sixteen. Long shot, Chandler Allen is up and no good. New side with a basketball. Shot is up by New side by three. 
as Woodruff gets the three. Landon with uh, seven points in the ball game. It's 40 to 16. And the Red Bay Tigers. As Tate Osmond gets a basket. Tate got another three. Uh, Tate's uh, three, six, eight. He's got 10 points in the ball game. It's uh, 40 to 19. So we got a timeout, five minutes and 14 seconds to go. Don't forget, we'll have Belmont and Red Bay next Friday night. Be another big battle. And that one to be here too, right, Randall? Or will it be in Belmont? Randall says it will be in Belmont. Folks, no excuse for not a packed house down there. Nice crowd here tonight for Red Bay and New Sight. Long shot, New Sight, up and no good. Battling after the rebound is New Sight. The putback is up and good. Forty two to nineteen. Red Bay passing the ball around the horn at the four twenty four mark. Austin Milam on the left wing dribbles around a little bit, goes left. High post magnet, he'll kick it out. Chandler Allen will try a three. It's up and no good. Rebound scramble for it. New Sight's coming out of there with it. Ramsey Ivy got it. His pass behind. <laughs> Threw it behind uh, number 21 and uh, Isaac King loses it out of bounds. Coach Larry Johnson getting after him a little bit. Kelly and Weatherford getting ready to check into the ball game. 42 to 19. Milam open for the three. It's up, air ball too long, no good. Rebound and a foul. Substitution is checking in for Red Bay. Long shot, Chandler Allen up and no good. And we have got a boss so turned over to the Red Bay Tigers. Weatherford will inbound. Long shot is up. And we got a whistle and a foul. Forty-two new site, nineteen for the Tigers. The Tigers will inbound it. Uh, that foul against Ivy will be his fourth foul. Three twenty-eight on the clock. Forty-two to nineteen. Red Bay pass from Osman almost stolen away. Osman able to pick it up as that ball got tipped back out. Three minutes and 15 seconds to go. We're in the third quarter. Today's game brought to you by Harden Heating and Cooling. Allen and Nash really appreciate your business. They are your official York Heating and Cooling dealer. Tigers missed a layup there from Kelly as that ball bounced off the back of the rim. Drive it in. Johnston pulls up with another easy basket. Johnson, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13 points for Johnson. New site, 44 to 19. Two minutes and 24 seconds on the clock. Pass down low. 
and turned over by the Red Bay Tigers. Stolen away Newsight and Newsight's pass from Johnston. Wide and out of bounds. Ivy and Johnston will check out of the ball game. New site playing the 2-3 zone with 2-10 to go. New site got the big man, number 22 there in the middle. That's Tillman Floyd. They're not huge or anything like that, but uh, I guess Gaff's probably taller than he is uh, in the middle. So New site not a big ball club, just very fundamentally sound, shoot the ball well. And there's a pass. Tate Osborne had that ball stolen away. Now the Tigers are going to get a jump. Go into New Side. They'll have it underneath their own basket. <clears throat> Chandler Allen will check out. 44 to 19. And the Tigers steal the inbounds pass. Good job there by Mr. Jesus Kelly. Cross court pass from Milan. Tate Osman drives down to the baseline, stops, looks for somebody, tries to kick it back, and has it stolen away. Tried to make the pass out to Milan and New side able to get a hand on it. Today's game brought to you by Tiffin Supply, Tiffin Appliance Company, and by CBNS Bank. Mary Ellen Allen and all the staff appreciate your business. Long shot. No good. Gath Weatherford with a rebound. 47 seconds to go. Appreciate the. Uh, all of our great sponsors, including your Edward Jones agent, Mr. Mike Jones. You can call him at 332-7924. Dana's Tumble and Dance Academy and another turnover against the Tigers. And now Red Bay gets back and Tate Osborne and Jesus Kelly, both of them fouling. As they were both trying to block it, they're going to give it against Kelly. Forty-four to nineteen, the free throw he is good. Make it forty-five to nineteen. Make it forty-six to nineteen. We're down to twenty-five seconds to go in the third quarter. Today's game brought to you by Dixie Diesel Service. That's Murray and Denise Moore. We got a whistle and a foul. Fouls against 24 for Red Bay. That's a mile. We're down to 3.7 seconds to go. Nobody on the top of the key, man. He shot the three, no good. That was number 35 out of the top of the key on Avery Barnes. We have played three quarters, and right now the score is 46 to 19. Not a good third quarter for the Red Bay Tigers. Red Bay was behind 35 to 16. New Sight scored nine. Red Bay scored three in the third quarter. Not really a good quarter for either one. Right now it's 46 to 19. We've got eight minutes of basketball left. Red Bay girls win tonight 53 to 50. 53 to 50. Appreciate Med Express of Red Bay, Dr. Leota and Kayla Humphreys. Uh, also want to thank Redmont Pharmacy and Mr. J.C. Weeks and the staff. Dr. Wick Wooten and his staff at Wooten Chiropractic, 301 Jackson Avenue. Injuries, drug and alcohol testing, DOT testing. Also want to thank Swamp Johns. The station, clothing for the entire family, is the second four-way stop in Belmont. 454-1034. A lot of specialty items throughout the store, stuff for men, ladies, and kiddos. 
And don't forget Mr. Joe Hastings. Great food all the time. At Hallmark. Red Bay goes back door to Gath Weatherford, and Gath is going to be fouled. They're going to call that foul against 33, Ryan Whitley. And there's another bad pass for the Tigers stolen away. And the new site layup and another foul against the Tigers. Forty-eight to nineteen, then foul against uh, the Red Bay Tigers. And Magnet got it. That'll be Magnet's fourth foul. I want to say hello to the Shaw family out there. They watch all of our replays. We we'll appreciate you, Shaw family. Tigers have turned it over way, way, way too many times and. Throwing the ball over his own. Sometimes you got to fake it to the top and bounce pass or whatever. Don't be uh, where they know exactly what you're doing. And of course, good teams like New Sites that's quick to the ball. They're going to steal those uh, little soft passes, lob passes. They got time to get there. They're, they're trying to cut off all the lanes. New Site commits a foul as McNatt will go to the line. Well, the Red Bay Tigers seniors this year, Austin Milan, Brooklyn Bolden, Katie Burks, Hope Cook, Holly Harden, and Peyton Thorne. Bryson Pounds checking into the ball game. And the next free throw, no good by Mr. 22 Magnet, 49 to 20. And we got a whistle and a foul against Chandler Allen in the backcourt. Three-point shot, top of the key, and new site, no good. Milam with a rebound with 5.26 to go. <coughs> and we got a timeout by the Red Bay Tigers. Timeout on the floor. Today's game brought to you by Mr. J, Sunshine Mills, along with Mike Schubert, your hometown school board member. <coughs> and by Grace Long Real Estate. This is the Red Bay Tiger <coughs> Basketball Network. <laughs> 49 to 20, we're back to action at 5.03. Red Bay girls, we told you earlier, won tonight by a score of 53 to 50. Going for the layup, new site. Makes it 51 to 30. That uh, Biche Plaxico got that layup. And the shot up by Tate Osman. Good penetration to the basket. 3, 6, 8, 10, 12 in the game now. To lead the Tigers scored. He's got 12 out of the Tigers 22. So the rest of the team only has got 10 points. Tigers having trouble getting scoring. The output has been very low as far as scoring and uh, just got to figure out a way to score more. And there's a shot down low. And we 
We got four minutes and the clock is running. Red Bay's gonna bring in some new players. Looks like Green's coming in, Kelly's coming in, and Dylan Pearson to come in. And the free throw is up, it's no good. By number three, this is uh, Bryson Pounds. Don't forget, if you'd like to get a copy of this game, the girls' game, they'll be available on DVD by their self. We've got a bunch of games already, and once again, if you'd like to get a copy, they are available on DVD. You can call us at 454-9797 or 356-4458. Another bad pass by the Tigers and stolen away by New Sight. They missed the layup, but they will go to the line. So Dalton Arnold will go to the line to shoot free throws. We'll be out of here in a hurry. We're down to the 2.43 clock starting, uh, running right now. Free throw by Arnold is up and good. Next one up, it's good. And the Tiger's gonna bring in more and Does Red Bay come up with a New player, new site. I'm assuming that's Heiser number 42, and it is 42. 53 new site, 22 Red Bay Tigers. Milam shoots the long three off the mark, no good. Fifty three to twenty two. We got a whistle on a foul away from the ball. Jack Ivy Randall Lindsay's had your broadcast here tonight. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, I know you would like to got a win on this uh, boys game, too, if you're a Red Bay Tiger fan here on the Red Bay uh, broadcast. But uh, not going to happen tonight. So Tigers lost last night to Hamilton in the boys action. Girls defeated Hamilton. With the 103 mark, thanks to Baymont Wholesale, along with the Red Bay Hospital. Davis Ford down in Fulton, Mississippi. Dr. Ralph Nix, long three by the Tigers, air ball by Moore. McDonald's in Red Bay on a broadcast here today. Johnny Cleveland, your next superintendent. If you'll go to the polls and elect him in March, he'll be running back in November. But he needs your help. 32 years experience. Johnny Cleveland, also Gary Armstrong. What about Kim Wells and Colin and Tracy Wells down at Tri-State Appliance, your GE Appliance store? And new site, some excellent ball movement. Gets the easy basket. That's uh, Will Brazel getting that one. We're down to 21 seconds. Appreciate Redmond Heating and Cooling, Mr. Patrick Brooks. The Banner Tire Store, Albin Mason Construction Company. Predator Pest Control, Mr. Eddie Deaton. Franklin County Probate Judge, Barry Moore. And also CJ serving quality food at affordable prices. Long shot by the Tigers and also Runny Cook at Modern Woodman as this game comes to a close. 55 to 22. Red Bay scored three points in the third quarter. New site got nine. And uh, Red Bay, let's see, only six points in the whole second half. So not a lot of scoring. We got to figure out a way to get some more points in the board. But uh, appreciate all the new site folks and Red Bay folks that come out and supported their teams tonight. Once again, new site and Red Bay. Coach Larry Johnson, Coach John Tariski shaking hands, and we really appreciate you so much for joining us on our broadcast. That is going to wrap up our broadcast. Red Bay girls win 53 to 50 over new site, and now the new site boys win 55 to 22. 55 to 22. We'll have more broadcasts coming up next week. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to go to YouTube.com, YouTube.com, search Jack Ivy, and you'll be able to see the games. 
And also, you can go to our live stream channel. It's brand new. Go to livestream.com. Subscribe to us there. It doesn't cost you anything. Just set up your account there. It's real easy. Livestream.com. Search Jack Ivy, and you can watch the replays on the game of even tonight's game. When we put it on a little bit later tonight, you'll be able to watch it on Livestream.com. For Randall Lindsay, the Lisa Backer Control Center, I'm Jack Ivey saying thank you for joining us. May God bless you. We'll see you next time here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. And good night from Red Bay.